Hello, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In today's video, I will share 10 tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. As I learn more about the Apple Watch, I will be creating more and more videos for you guys so you can discover everything the Apple Watch is capable of. So if you want, do watch my 50 tips and tricks for the Apple Watch for which I will leave a link in the description below if you want to master this little device. But for now, let's dive in to these very special 10 tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. All right, so tip number one is how to force close an application. So basically, if you go into your app drawer and you launch an application, and if that application is not behaving properly, you can force close it. What you want to do is you want to press and hold the side button, not the crown, the side button, until the power slider appears. And once the power slider appears, release the button and then press that button one more time until the application exits itself and that actually closes the app and then you can relaunch the application and that's going to make sure the application runs fine this time. All right, tip number two, how to hide applications that you have downloaded and installed on your Apple Watch. What you want to do is you want to go into the uh, app drawer and gently tap and hold until the apps start to wiggle and some of the apps, apps are going to have the X symbol right on top of them. Those are the only apps you can delete or hide. The apps that came with the watch, you cannot delete or hide them. So let's uh, test this calculator app right over here. If I tap on it, it's going to ask me do I want to delete the app and what you want to say is you want to say yes and that's going to remove that application. However, the application hasn't been literally deleted, it's just been removed. You can simply re-add it by going into the uh, watch app on your iPhone and re reinstating that application. So basically if you go back into the My Watch application on your iPhone, you can scroll down where you get a list of all the available applications. And here's the Calculator Plus application that we just removed. If you tap this guy, you can simply turn it back on and it's going to send that application back to your Apple Watch, just so you guys know. Now you will be getting a lot of notifications on your Apple Watch. What you want to do is, when you get a lot of notification, you see a red dot on the top of your phone right here, on top of the uh, watch face that you're currently sporting. So when you uh, pull down from the top, it's going to give you all the notifications that you have. Now in this case, I only have one notification. I can swipe to the left and I can clear this. Now, if you have a lot of notifications, like 20, 30, 50 emails, five text messages, some missed phone calls, what you want to do is you don't want to go over each and every notification if you're short in time. So you can press and hold, force touch and hold, and it's going to allow you to clear all the notifications at once. So you tap the X and all the notes are gone. Now, as you know, the Apple Watch comes with a haptic feedback. So instead of uh, making a noise, it actually creates a touching sensation on your wrist when you get a notification. Now, that touching sensation could be light or it could be heavy. So you can adjust the intensity of the haptic feedback. So what you want to do is you want to tap the crown that takes you to your app drawer and tap on settings. And then from here, scroll all the way down where it says sounds and haptic. You tap that again and then scroll down and from here you can increase or reduce the intensity of the haptic feedback. So you simply tap this button and that reduces that touch sensation or you can tap this and it's going to intensify that sensation. Now other things you can do, you can use the digital crown to actually launch applications. What you want to do is you want to tap on a screen and normally let's say you want to launch the, um, the weather application, you tap on the weather application and it launches the weather application. If you don't want to tap on the screen, all you do is you bring the app that you want into the middle of the screen and then you can slide the crown and that's going to zoom in to the app you're trying to go into. Okay? Now you cannot go zoom out back of it. So once you zoom into it, it launches the application and then you have to press it to go back into the app drawer. But again, you can launch anything that you want using the crown simply by zooming in the application, by sliding the 
crown. Now your Apple Watch is always connected to your iPhone. You're always going to be within the Bluetooth range. So as long as you guys are in the Bluetooth range of each other, meaning the Apple Watch and the iPhone, you guys can actually ping your phone using your Apple Watch in case you do not know where the phone is. So all you have to do, start your watch, scroll up to the glances, and you press this button, which starts to ping your iPhone. Your iPhone will actually ring, and then you can actually determine the location of the iPhone and make sure you don't lose it, or you can easily find it this way. Now, this only works as long as you guys are within the Bluetooth range, and the Apple Watch and the iPhone are, in fact, connected and the Bluetooth range is in fact 10 meters. I use my Apple Watch for weather a lot. Okay, so I, I turn this thing on and the first thing I do is I check the weather most of the time. Now with the weather application, the first city that pops up when you launch the application is your default city. So how can you change the default city? What you wanna do is you wanna go to the Apple Watch application on your iPhone and then scroll down, scroll straight down to the weather app, tap it, Go into the default city and then simply pick the default city that you want to use for your Apple Watch. So this time when I go back into the weather application, it takes me to New York as the default city because that is what I set up in my Apple Watch. Now one more tip I want to share with you guys and this has to do with the watch faces. Uh, every element on a given watch face is clickable. So if I tap on the weather it takes me into the weather application okay and uh, if I have I, at the bottom here I have the stop watch enabled so if I tap that it's gonna take me into the stop watch application let me reset that and again uh, if I tap on the timer application on the timer element it's gonna take me into the timer application okay just remember that so no matter which watch face you go to not all of them, but most of them in, allow you to uh, interact with these tiny informational streams, okay? Tap on them and it will take you to the application that that notification entails. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.